What's up, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Armor Stand Tool. Armor Stands is a super simple, robust plugin that lets you easily bring Armor Stands to life with a very simple GUI. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section on your Server Pro dashboard. Search for Armor Stand Tool. Simply install the latest version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Do keep in mind that this plugin also requires the Wolfie Utilities plugin to be installed. To see what plugins you already have installed, visit the Installed section under Plugins. So the Armor Stands plugin is incredibly simple. All you need to do is place an Armor Stand and then hold Shift or Crouch and right click on the Armor Stand to open up a GUI. This is where the plugin is mainly controlled from. The plugin does have one single command, which is slash AST, which displays some information on the plugin's version. Other than this, the only other command is slash AST of reload to reload the plugin's settings from the config but we'll get into this later. The plugin is completely controlled through the use of this right-click menu and an armor stand. To make things easier to see, I'll create a backdrop for this. There we go. Let's shift right-click to open up the GUI and we see all of the options that we have on the left-hand side and we have toggles right next to them that we can click to turn them on or off. The same goes for over here where we can rotate the head by a specific number of degrees in the X, Y, and Z axes. We also have free edit which lets us freely rotate it. All we have to do is simply walk around it for our movements to be turned into movement here. It's pretty simple. Shift right click to turn it off. So already you can see how simple this plugin is to use. Let's play with some of the toggles. What I'll do is shift right click and look away just fast enough so that you can see the armor stand on the left hand side of my screen. Let's run through some of the options. Base plate, on or off, arms visible, off or on, small model, off or on, Gravity, off or on, but of course you won't see this until I break the block under it. Invisible has a toggle next to it, but it doesn't do anything. Place an item in any equipment slot to make it invisible. And display name at the very bottom also has a toggle next to it, which lets us turn on or off the display name, and we can set the name by simply using a name tag and an anvil as you usually would. So of course we can rotate the head, which we've seen a little bit of currently. We can go back. We can edit the body position, the position of the entire object. We can test the gravity by moving it upwards in the Y direction. As you can see, I'm moving it up a block and it's simply falling down. Let's go back and let's rotate the legs and the other leg. Now that we've posed the body in a way that we like, let's go ahead and play around with these items on the right hand side, which allow us to place items on the armor stand. How do we use these? Well, pretty simply, you take an object and you place it next to one of these items over here, which of course will place it in one of the hands or say as a head, chest piece, etc, etc. Of course, blocks are only visible in either of the hands or on the head. Let's go ahead and do some fun stuff. I'll grab a diamond sword, gold pickaxe, gold chest plate, netherite leggings, and say gold boots. Now for a helmet, I'll use say glowstone. Let's go ahead and do the same and let's place these items into our armor stand. Slowly, you can see it coming together piece by piece. Cool, there we go. We've now created a fully customizable armor stand over here that we can play with very easily through the shift right click menu. As for functionality, that's about it. It's super simple and after you've configured it, it'll always be here. Pretty cool. Editing is of course as easy as shift right clicking. So now that we've placed some items into our item frame and we've posed it how we like, what does that invisible option do? Well, shift right clicking on it, we can toggle the invisibility, which as you can see, turns the armor stand completely invisible, or of course, shows it again. Finally, the name can be set with a name tag. As such, and of course, can be toggled off with this option over here. From here, let's have a look at the plugins config. Head across to your Server Pro dashboard and open up the file section. Then we'll be locating the plugin in the plugins folder. Inside of this folder, we have a lang folder which contains localization files for the plugin. We can click on them to customize how the plugin talks back to users. Let's go back a folder and open up config.json, which is the plugins one and only config file. As you can see, it's incredibly simple. What we have is a language toggle to change the language file that's used. 
and an armor stand knockback option. What does this mean? Well, let's give it a try. Grabbing myself a wooden sword and entering survival mode, we can click the armor stand to hit it. But you can see nothing happens. Let's go ahead and enchant this with knockback. Enchant, techno, knockback. Two. After doing this, we can click in the armor stand and it gets thrown around. But let's go ahead and change that variable in the config. Let's set it to false, save the file. Then all we have to do is run slash AST reload. And after the plugin's been reloaded, you can see the armor stand is no longer affected by knockback, even though my sword still has it on. It's super simple. Other than that, there's not really any more config. But anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!